Wood is, of course, something that is close to the modern human. In our case, we wanted to use cross-laminated timber as the focus. CLT offers an alternative as 2x6s are now laminated together into large panels. Throughout the semester, the students have designed two projects tackling the programs of a single family house for 10 people in a mid-rise tower. So we gave them a primer that uh, started to limit or at least inform them quickly into the height and the shapes and the form that they could take. And one of the things we managed to achieve pre-COVID was really to get to Martinsons factory up in northern Sweden, but also look at this 72 meter tall building by white architects in Skellefteå. The project of the house was finished when COVID hit us. This setup uh, of, of two projects is actually now proving to be a model to work with as we go forward um, in COVID. Within a week, we were on Zoom. We found ourselves doing it the analog way with sketches and scanning and sending these across to students for a discussion. This is an image of the students' 14 houses and 14 towers. This is a tower by Anna Goga. Her project won the James Templeton Kelly Prize in the MR2 program. Um, and she really starts with the CLT blank as a simple cut. There's kind of two ways of looking at the project. There's this exoskeleton and then there's this inside. She's proposing that over time, you can reassemble the interior based on different programmatic needs. And her project proposed a 100 meter long tower. The next project is a house by Edgar Rodriguez. Edgar also started his project with the scale of the CLT blank. And Edgar was thinking about it as an industrial material one that you could think of it as off the shelf. And he was also interested in the idea of a pile of these industrial materials. The third project is a tower by Benson Chen. And he's suggesting that with the CLT panel, you have a free form experience and can cut any shape into the panel. Each of these CLT walls subdivides different housing units. And here we see 1,037 panels make up the overall form. And lastly, this is a house project by Edward Han Mayo O. Edgar was very interested in the CLT as a surface material. And so he's proposing staining the surface with colors and patterns and using the CNC machine to cut into the material for the interior. Well, one thing we had planned was really to make a book. We think it's also important to show the uh, collaboration between academy practice and industry. So we are continuing with our discourse in, in this area.